Hey, Johnny Starr here. Say hi to Buck. I'm going to put a guitar solo over top of Dragonfly, a song I wrote that's on uh, my family album. You can check it out on johnnystar.com if you want to. But the guitar solo is going to go over top of a chorus and then a verse. So let's uh, just quickly review the chords that are on the verse part. Notice I'm going to change from a G to a D with a G flat bottom. I'm an E minor, a D, a C, a G, and a D. But the whole time I'm going to keep the D and G notes of the G chord on every one. Okay, that's a G, D. E minor, D, C, G, D again. Then the verse goes with the C, D, G, E minor, a C, D, B minor 7, and a C. Repeat, C, D, G, E minor, C, D, and then back to a verse part again. All right, so let's get to it. All right, let's give it a shot. Not bad. Like most of the guitar players I know who learn to play rock and blues leads, I started out with the pentatonic minor pattern. And for years, I got pretty good at improvising solos with it. But when I would try to improvise over major key-oriented chord progressions, like you'd hear with a lot of Allman Brothers or some Grateful Dead songs, the minor pentatonic pattern just didn't seem to work no matter where I tried shifting it up or down the neck. I would be lost, go fishing for good notes, hit a lot of bad notes, and make people's faces cringe, as if I didn't know anything about playing real music. If it wasn't typical 1-4-5 blues rock, then I'd have to figure out and memorize each guitar solo for each song, and still not be able to fly around and improvise freely. I had to stick to the memorized notes. It was embarrassing. My band would try to play a request from the crowd of a song that I had heard of before, but I'd either stink it up or even have to turn my guitar volume completely off and stand there like a doofus. Anyway, now that I know all seven scale modes by using only one Do-Re-Mi pattern, I can confidently improvise over most any song. And by the way, if you want to see an easier way to learn scale modes and chord relationships visually, then check out my visual guitar music theory system at johnnystar.com. Okay, so since I had first started out by learning the minor pentatonic scale pattern, I've come full circle after learning music theory and now use it as a reference for soloing in major keys. Dragonfly is written in the key of G major. So I position the Do, Re, Mi, or major scale, with the root Do on G. Also notice that the E minor scale, which is the relative minor mode of the G major scale, and has all the same notes as the G major scale, starts on La. And this is where the E minor pentatonic pattern would be positioned. I just use the minor pentatonic pattern as a visual reference where I can play the pattern 
and add fa and t to fill out the rest of the G major scale. So if you already know the E minor pentatonic pattern, all you have to do is add fa and t to play all the G major scale notes. Let's watch the solo again and see how I use these notes. If you want to experiment and improvise over top of Dragonfly, there's a downloadable jam track available on my website. Have fun jamming, and I'll see you next time.